This legendary school gadget is called a pen bow. And we used to make these in school back in the day and then have secret pen wars with them. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how we used to make them so you can build one too. Then we'll go to my state-of-the-art testing facility and really put them through the paces, see if they're as cool as I remember. We'll find out if mods make it better or worse. And then lastly, we'll rank it on the chalkboard. Which is the chalk for honoring ancient legendary knowledge and building outstanding and remarkable devices. It's basically like the Guinness Book of World Records, but it only includes cool things like this. Ah! Off to the workshop. Okay, broke out the A-Team lunchbox on this one and found just a normal, cheap, big ballpoint pen. A thicker rubber band like this is the way to go. It makes it a lot easier to pull back when you're ready to fire. We'll need scissors and then something sharp to puncture the pen tube. Pliers are helpful if you have them, but if not, no worries. I'll still show you how to do it without them. Disassembly is pretty quick and easy. Just pull and kind of twist out the turtleneck and then slide it right off the ink chamber. Back in the day, these little end plug things would just pop right out with your fingernail. But nowadays they've got them glued in there. So if you try to force them out with the screwdriver, they just break. And trying to heat them up to melt the adhesive is also a no-go. If you do have pliers, just kind of slowly squeeze and turn and squeeze and turn and keep doing that until the bond breaks and then it'll pop right out. If you don't have pliers, you'll just need a flat surface and something heavy. I'm using a 200 pound plate right here. I'm able to easily lift it and just set it right here on the end. Then it doesn't take much. If you just roll back and forth a few times, that'll break the adhesive and then you should be able to get it out. Use your push pin to poke a starter hole right in the center of the pen tube, then remove it and start to carefully widen the hole with your scissors. If you're gonna lose a finger, now's the time it'll happen. The hole needs to be just barely big enough for you to be able to insert the turtleneck. Feed one end of the rubber band into the pen tube and then just force the plug back in there so it's secure. Then stretch it over and do the same thing on the other side to secure it with the pen cap. Make sure the rubber band is centered over the turtleneck and at this point, you should be ready for a test fire. <laughs> There was no internet or YouTube back in the day, so nobody was posting tutorials on how to make these. The only way you could really figure it out is by learning from someone who already had the sacred knowledge and was willing to teach you the ancient ways. Once you did build one though, you immediately felt like the baddest dude in school. You would just walk with a different kind of strut when you had a pen bow in your pocket. I will say this feels every bit as cool as I remember, but how good is it really? Let's go find out. <laughs> There will be five different tests. Power. How much damage can it do to a thick slice of disgusting bologna? One point is pathetic, 10 points is John Wick level. Distance. Distance. How far will a full send send Coach Stewart? You have three tries to impress me. Don't waste my time. Accuracy. We've got a gallery full of old school baddies and he just said, yo mama's a hoe. It's go time. Bang. How bad does it hurt to get hit with one? We brought in an expert to find out. This is Brad. Brad. He's a certified expert in the art of pain and has been a bastard for more than no, 30. That's not what it says. What's uh, master? My... I've been a master of pain for 30 years. It does say master. It's my bad. That one's on me. Mischief. Back in the day, no ceiling was safe or clean. How well will it stick in the stained square of crusty old ceiling tile? Each test has a possible score of 10 points for a maximum total of 50. Anything over 40 is legendary. If this thing is even half as good as I remember, I'm expecting right around a 42. Let's begin. I'll fire these three arrows from right here. Coach Stewart will locate the arrows and measure the distance. Your foot's on the line. Thank you. Thank you. Fifty-four feet. Seventy-three feet. Forty-six feet. 
Next test. didn't quite go as planned. It was super fun to shoot Brad, but I can't believe not even one of these stuck in the ceiling tile. Accuracy and distance were decent overall, but a 20 is just not quite as good as a 42. That's only gonna be an uncommon on the chalkboard. I've got a few ideas though. Let's make a quick stop at the mod closet and then see what we can do to level this guy up. So I won't go into detail on every step this time around, but I'll show you enough so you can still follow along and mod your own, so pause it if you need to. First up, we're gonna give it a better grip. I'm using a black binder clip, and if you pop off one of the chrome handles, you can insert a small paper clip and bend it around the turtleneck to create kind of a makeshift sight for aiming. And it looks cool. The stock arrows are too flimsy and have a tendency to bend when you fire them. Upgrading to bamboo skewers will hopefully result in better flight and stability. The inside piece from a mechanical pencil also fits perfectly on the end and gives you different payload options. I'll be trying an eraser, a poppet, and thanks to your comments, a bobby pin mosquito. Brad's gonna hate this. Reboot. Hey, it's been like 40 minutes. Okay, it's been like 30 minutes. Are you still there? Yeah. Can you bring me some chips? I don't have any chips. Um, I got pretzels. That's fine. Okay, cool. Bye. Bye. Okay, now the most important part more power. I'm gonna use a stronger rubber band times two. I've had these yellow ones soaking in a mixture of Red Bull and rattlesnake testosterone for about six hours, so we should be all set. Meet the pen wiper. Time for a retest. Since Brad is still here, we'll do the pain test first, starting with the eraser head. No reaction there, still just enjoying his pretzels. Let's step up to the poppet and see if we can get a grimace. Success. <laughs> Left a mark, it's pretty good. Let's do a bonus shot. Mm. What was that sound? <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, it's like an after. <laughs> okay, that was awesome. Seriously, thanks. Yeah, yeah, of course. This, Anytime. These are gonna turn out super sick. Okay, shirts. Good stuff, man. Appreciate it. What are you doing for lunch? So let's go ahead and run it Hello? back through the rest of the tests. Did you hear me? Three more tries to smoke this bologna with two poppets and a mosquito. Pop it up first. Ooh, wide right. Number two. Ah, that looked like it went straight through it. Let's try the mosquito. Ooh, direct hit. Try a few more poppers. Nothing, nothing. Nailed it, but no pop. Man, straight through it. This baloney is literally invincible. Let's head back to the gym. We'll do better there. Welcome back. Thanks. <laughs> Really feeling like the bamboo skewers with the roided out rubber bands are gonna shine. Speaking of shine. Sixty-four feet. Not too shabby. Let's send another. Eighty 
84 feet. Final shot for all the glory. Hit the wall. Crush the distance test. Five more shots at the gallery. It's two points for every knockdown, and then another two points for any leftover arrows. Just left of Dr. Evil, but I'll take it. Oh, devastating peck shot for Chongli. Drago escapes though, for now. Six points. Three final shots at the ceiling tile. And honestly, just walking away from this without catching a disease seems like a win. No damage from the eraser. Ah, misfire with the pocket. Bullseye with the mosquito, but no damage dealt. Had to try another poppet. Check the sweet slow-mo on the left. Looked awesome, but that was all pop rocks. Worth three points though. Not gonna lie, that ceiling towel sucks. I don't hate 27, I just wish we could have at least pushed it to a rare. But even though the original didn't perform quite as well as I remembered, and the pen viper didn't do much better, the fun factor, still legendary. See you on the next one.